Hello everybody, Glorian Sangvi here, welcome to the next episode. We're gonna play as Shinga, or however you say your name, I'm not good with Chinese names. And I'm actually gonna use the Soul Calibur, Evil, just to challenge myself. And it's also a cool looking blade, so why not? This is the problem with the blade, I have lower defenses, and it also drains my health. So I gotta try and end battles as quickly as possible. You're quite the rude one. Battle one, fight! At least I think it's draining health, but it is it's very minuscule. But the defense is very obvious. Bam! Fight! So yeah, she is somewhat of a fun character to play if you know how to use her correctly, but unfortunately I don't. I'm only, I'm only somewhat good with her. Okay, Sophia, unfortunately, we're gonna have to take you down. I love that outfit. One of your best outfits I've taken in the series. Swing for the hips and just kick her on the ground. Why did that swirl? Why did you swing the sword and no damage came from it? I'm dead. No, I'm still alive. I was about to say how that previous third swing did not hit her. Yeah, that clearly hit her. Why did that not damage her? It's like, oh, that sword swing didn't count. Come on. Just take her out. Charade. Seeking to complete itself, a fragment takes on human form. Here I come! Okay, so you're... Battle is that... No, you're Talon. I was gonna say, is that Maxi? Is like, no, he uses nunchucks. Not, not that particular weapon. But you're really skilled at it, though. It just kidding! You dodge. Yeah, go down. You win. I think this, this evil soul caliber, I think it's like the very first weapon you get when you start up master mode. a uh, weapon master mode. Fight! To be like, hey, here's the Soul Calibur that she used in the previous game, only it's evil, so it's not um, Soul Calibur in its purest form. Which, if I remember correctly, I believe she didn't use. Yeah, she used Soul Calibur in the first game. Uh, in the second game, she didn't use Soul Calibur. As a matter of fact, I don't even think anybody used Soul Calibur in this game. Because it was like in Inferno, but I know Soul Calibur ends up uh, going to Sick Raid uh, after he gets uh, cured from his little curse of being Nightmare. Give up already! Battle one, fight! Fight! Oh, we traded there somehow. Ow! But that hurts. And Ivy just says, "Screw you." Fight. Come on. How are some of my sword swings out out like missing? Do 
do a twirl swing and down she goes. Fight! And of course she parries, and why wouldn't she? Ow! Oh, I'm surprised that grab finished her off! I wasn't expecting that grab to take her out. I thought it would come close, but I didn't think it would outright get to be the uh, KO. Of course you have to he show up. Only to fulfill his master's last wish. You're gonna be sorry. Battle one. Fight. Of course, why does this guy have to show up? Ow. Wow, I actually parried him. I did not mean to. Oh, I was hoping to do the back grab. Yeah, let's see that back grab. Yeah! Wee bang. You I'm stronger than all of you. <laughs> all of you? You mean the one singular person that's in front of you? Or do you mean us, the players? Bam! And down he goes. You Versus Lizard Man. Wow, Lizard Man just wants to constantly show up now. It's like, hey, I haven't been here for most of this project, but now I want to keep showing up. Okay. Time to say your prayer. He's like that one dude that's late for the party. Battle one. Fight. Ow, ow. Whoa, I'm surprised that missed me. That didn't. You grab me, I'll grab you back. As you're about to KO me, yep. You lose. I'm lost, where do I go? Battle two. I kind of love that victory animation. He's like, uh, I've won. Where do I go now? I'm completely lost. Bam. Down you go. Oh, uh, you're really happy. Bit of an itch I need to deal with right now. Ah, there we go. Stupid itchiness always wants to show up at the worst times. Ow. You're gonna cheaply KO me, aren't you? Yep. Jeez, I no duh. We live in a dangerous world. When has the world ever been safe in any time period? Bam! Eat the floor. You win. I said no mercy. Battle two. Fight. Fight. I don't know how that missed. Come on, stop dodging! Okay, why did I block the first hit, but then the second hit, I just took it in the face? Get out of here! Oh wait, you have my money! Keelik, 
You can't fight this with strength alone. Please understand, Xianghua. I can't let you go any further. Is there no other way? That one. Fight. Fight. You give. Time to give Keelik the hard time that she gave us in the in our arcade run. Although apparently Keelik's like, no, I learned what happened in my arcade run, so I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. I'm gonna return the favor. You to stay down. Battle two. Fight. Fight. Yeah, stop tapping my feet. Oh, I could have possibly gone for the back grab then. Or he can just utterly annihilate me. You, I can't let you risk your life. Nine. Well, I'm gonna get back up and kick your ass then. Is there no other way? Battle one. Fight. Fight. Eat the floor. Bro, you. Bam! You that was win. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Battle two. Fight. Fight. Come on. Of course, he's now very angry. But we're gonna make him eat the floor. Inferno time. Sorry I'm late. I'll get you this time. Versus Inferno. Inferno. The terror known as the catastrophe has Actually, now that I think about it, who defeated Inferno in this game? Was it actually her? I need to look up and see if she was the actual victor in this game, because I know because I do know that according to the wiki, Raphael and uh, Siegfried were at the castle at the time. And I'm just going to take the death. Because I know they were there at the time. Because I know Raphael being there is what turned him evil. And I know Siegfried being there is what freedom of being nightmare. So I wouldn't be surprised if she was the actual cannon victor and the other two were also brought into her cannon. Fight! Ow! Stop being the ninja! Fight! Oh, you're in maxi now. Throw you on the floor and eat dirt. Evil must be destroyed. It's the only way. So I now have a question. If she's holding a soul caliber as it's evil and there's a soul caliber there, are there now two soul calibers? Reunited with her sacred sword, Sengon became the eternal light with it with, within evil within the evil aura. The malevolent entity perished, unable to sustain its existence against such power. Her sword then fell silent. Perhaps it knew it fulfilled its purpose. Sengon headed home with it in hand. To put an end to an ever to even to ever growing rumors about the evil sword, she bowed to never lie. I again about the journey home. Even though that sword would end up in Siegfried's hands, so I don't think that ending is fully canon. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.